Hey, what's up? So today, to the day, I have been at my new company for four months as a junior software developer. Uh, Full-time position, really enjoying it, learning lots. But today I wanted to make a video basically just outlining the process behind how to get a software engineer or software developer job in South Africa from someone who has now successfully achieved this lofty goal. Um, I made a video like this a while ago um, when I just got like a part-time job um, during university. So I wanted to make an updated uh, video with some of the same tips but some new tips on basically how the whole process went for me in the current job market and some tips and tricks I have. And so yeah, let's get straight into it. So my number one tip for how to get a software developer job or a software engineer job or any of these lofty tech jobs in South Africa is to get an advanced degree. I got my computer engineering degree at the end of last year, graduation this year, and it just made the whole process so much easier. I walked into job interviews and they were like, oh, you did computer engineering. That's so lovely. That's so cool. We have to get you on the team. That's so cool. We know your degree is so great. And like, just having that kind of like respect and that for your degree made the whole job interview process so much easier. I mean, maybe it's deserved, maybe it's not deserved. I think the engineering degree is an excellent degree, but it just made the whole interview process and that so much easier. And yeah, you've got some credibility behind your name if you've got a degree from a good institution like Tux. And so yeah, uh, some of my colleagues now also got BITs, they've got computer science degrees, um, but try getting an advanced degree. If you can afford it, if it makes sense for you financially, it's something that will never go awry. And especially in South Africa where the job market is still so um, unsaturated with skilled professionals, you need a degree if you really want to get in there at that top level. You can make it through with boot camps and with, in other ways into the industry, but getting an advanced degree is like the best way to get into the job market. My second tip would be to use a recruiter. I applied on LinkedIn to open positions. I sent cold emails, I sent, uh, I, I talked to friends and that, and I used a recruiter. And I only heard back from one cold email. I didn't hear back from any of the, the LinkedIn things I applied to, but I got my job via my recruiter, via OfficeZen. And so, yeah, my the top tip would be to definitely use a recruiter because so many companies aren't looking in the places that you're searching for, for jobs. They're looking uh, through specific um, platforms and that that make it easy for them to hire skilled people. And so use a recruiter in the industry uh, for software dev. Uh, it's especially, you know, it's especially prevalent to only get jobs through recruiters and that just because company use them because that's how they make life easier for themselves. So I used OfferZen, I made a profile, I talked to a couple of different companies through them, I had a very positive experience, they gave me some cool merch afterwards. Um, so yeah, I can definitely recommend them as a whole, as a platform. My next tip is to pick your timing. I got back from my overseas trip at the... Uh, I got back from my overseas trip at the end of... Um, March and so then started applying for jobs then to start in like April and so that's not a great time to start uh, a, a job especially in a junior role. A lot of the big companies like Intellect and Discovery and uh, uh, a lot of the, um, the software dev houses they take in a whole lot of new grads in January and they take in people for a graduate program starting at the beginning of the year not in the middle of the year and so all their junior positions are often filled from January. So if you want to uh, get into a job a lot easier as a junior the beginning of the year is probably the better time. That being said, though, a lot of the grad programs, and I'm not sold on the idea of a grad program as a whole. I just think if you do certain degrees and you have certain skills, you don't need a six to 12 month training course to get on and to provide shareholder value. You can probably do with a month or two of onboarding before, like I have with my company. Um, but yeah, I mean, it make it easier for yourself, go in January. So yeah, in terms of how my job search actually went, I had a pretty positive experience. I had four potential offers. I went in person for two interviews and I interviewed online for all of them. I did two technical assessments. One I quit halfway through because the kind of work, it was soul sucking. I would never have enjoyed working at that company. Um, the other company, uh, they were like a data analysis kind of company that I, I did a lot of, uh, I did the technical assessment on, but they ultimately didn't get back to me and I already had an offer letter from another company, which is where I'm working now, which is a very positive technical discussion online, um, offer letter, um, talked about the tech stack, how the company is working. And so yeah, basically I, I went for four different offers and I actually didn't uh, choose the one with the highest salary. Um, it, you know, if that would interest you, um, yeah, it's just very interesting to see the different offers and that and oh, important to go in person and or just online and to chat uh, at length about the role and that because what you see in the job advert and what you're going to do on a day-to-day -day basis can be very different and so that was very interesting. But yeah, basically four potential roles, I chose the best one for me and it's going pretty well so far. In terms of more advice that I'd give, I would say go and build yourself a nice portfolio, especially in web development and coding and programming and software engineering. It's so easy to put together an 
nice little personal website with some personal projects, with some tools you built on the side, with little websites you've got up and running. Um, at length in my one job interview, I talked about the, that little um, degree recommender that I built years ago for varsity students. Um, that's not technically that impressive, but just showing that you've gone the extra mile and have built something and have launched something and have seen some need and have learned some new technology that shows a lot to people who are going to potentially employ you one day. And so yeah, build a portfolio, get yourself a nice personal website, do some side projects, um, even if you just have some small basic websites on your GitHub repo, um, yeah, that's, that goes a long way to show that you're someone who uh, goes the extra mile and will be a good employee. Then second last tip is to just apply everywhere and be patient. Uh, you know, the job market is not always the greatest for junior employees, especially at the moment. And so apply everywhere, leverage your personal connections, reach out, cold email to people and to jobs that you don't think you're qualified for. Just from the job interview process that I've gone on now, I have a few potential offers for a couple of years time uh, to move into different roles or into different uh, career trajectories just because of the interview process and because of how widely I cast my net when I was looking for. Uh, when I was on the job interview hunt. And then my final tip is to just be patient and be realistic. If you don't have an advanced degree like a comp or comp science degree and you're a junior, you're not gonna earn a high salary, you're gonna be doing grunt work, you know, but that everyone has to start somewhere. We all have to start with a lot of uh, basic work that we build up to doing more advanced stuff. And uh, I'm, I myself, I'm very grateful to have gone into a role where I'm being challenged every day and I'm learning a lot of cool new technology. But yeah, if you don't have a super great degree and you're uh, a junior, expect to go in on the bottom floor, expect to learn and not expect it to take a while to get a job expect to um, you know struggle or like send lots of cold emails to get your to get your role I think I sent out like over 40 cold emails and applied to over 40 jobs and like I went for like four interviews you know make five potential offers you got to play the numbers game at the end of the day but yeah keep on working on your portfolio keep on just trying to learn and become a better developer I'm really enjoying being a software engineer now and learning lots and uh, just you know discovering the whole world of technology and uh, computers has to offer and yeah so really enjoying it and i hope this video has been helpful to you good luck with the job search if you've got a job like cool hit me up on linkedin and i'll chat to you later bye